two, three, two, one, you're live on both. Wonderful, great. So, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. This is the home edition of Jewel Toll. So, you guys. Oh, Instagram, let's do this. Oh, Instagram. we forgot to do Instagram. It's okay. So, you guys, you think I'm going to be cooking on this stove? Think again. This is not a cooking show. I'm actually going to show you guys how to clean how my griddle. For example, this griddle is, Yaro's going to zoom in in just a second, yeah. but I'll show you how okay. nasty it's gotten. You're, you're live on Instagram now. Oh, I'm live? Okay, so you guys joining me on Instagram, you guys, welcome to my kitchen. I'm going to be showing you no cooking over here. I'm going to show you how to clean easily like your griddle or anything that you have that looks like this. It's rusted, that is corroded, that's pitted, anything of that sort. So, Yaro, come and get a close-up. Okay, Zoom. Karen's watching, Janice, Myra. Hey, guys, Marcy. okay, don't get that close. <laughs> okay, so you guys, take a look at my griddle. Okay, so as you can see, it's got rust spots here. It's got like all these weird black pitted stuff. Um, I know that... I'm sp I, I was told later that I'm supposed to coat this with oil so this doesn't happen. I've really never used it. Um, this is a stove that I bought used. It was actually ne never even used in the home I bought it from, but long story short. So I actually grabbed all my scrubbies. I grabbed all my scrubbies and I grabbed all the brushes that are in the texturizing kit. So I am going to show you guys what each one of these does and what finish you get because none of these are going to be the same. So maybe you have one that's more heavily corroded. Maybe you have one that's less corroded. This is not a video to say, look how clean I got my griddle. No, this video is to show you what you can use to take care of your needs. So that's what I'm here to do. To do. And I'm going to actually show you guys how our new scotch bright scratch eraser bits are going to come into play here so stay tuned it's going to be kind of fun i did a little testing here so i'm going to show you guys what i started with so i did a little patch and this is a really good idea to do before you start it's kind of like i always say like a little skin test a little patch so if you look right here at this top left area right here i used the medium scratch eraser right here and you can see it kind of put a little bit of some lines in right here i used the fine on the right and then this area right here this little circle i used the very fine so i actually felt as though the and then right here this big uh, section is what I use the uh, the 80 grit yellow brush on. So I, for my griddle in this area, not in this heavily coated area, I think I'm going to use the very fine scrubby and follow it with, I don't know, depending on the pits that arise, we'll see like the 80 grit or the 120 grit to blend and smooth the whole surface together. But I feel as though when I was just using the brushes, I felt as though it was smoothing everything and blending it, but it wasn't really taking care of those really tough spots. And I didn't want to push hard and create any kind of grooves just to get that tough spot. I wanted an even sand. Does that make sense? And the scrubby was giving me more of that even sand with a little bit more elbow grease. So you guys, I'm going to unscrew this. So just so you know, you guys, I'm using the flex shaft on the jewel tool. And yes, my jewel tool is on the stove. <laughs> just plugged it right here. Just don't turn it on. Just, yeah, just don't turn your stove on. I'm going to put you guys back. And um, I've actually got the quick screw adapter on here. So I'm able to put the brushes and the scrubbies and everything on my handpiece. Now, this handpiece is our jewel tool handpiece, and this will hold a quarter inch shank so not all hand pieces can accommodate that so just be mindful of that you guys see how big and thick that little sucker is all right um uh, and some of them just only hold this size and smaller okay so you guys i'm gonna run this at full speed but when you guys start run at a little slower speed just to see what you're doing you know just do a little like a little 
section test. Okay, but you see that's not enough. So we gotta go a little faster. So there you go. You guys see how this is a little smoother? And I'm keeping it moving. I'm not really getting into that. I'm really not standing in one spot. You don't want to stand in one spot. And you just kind of go over the trouble areas once you kind of clean that area all together. So right here, you guys, is what I've done so far. You guys see that? Now, if you guys, okay, look, let's try to get, I'm actually gonna save this one tight area for, hold on. I'm actually gonna save this tight area to get into that corner with one of the bristles. You see how that will conform into that area? So we're not, So this is nice and smooth. Actually, I think I might even go heavier. What do you think, Yara? Should I go heavier? So that was the very fine. Should I try the, try. I always start low. You know, if I ever screw this up, I'm gonna hear it from Yaro. So you always wanna start a little lower. You can always go coarser, but you can't go backwards. So I'm gonna make a point to go after some of the darker spots. You guys see those? Right here, right here. So just gliding right over. You don't wanna stay on it too long. God, you know Yaro, that flash from the phone? is like leaving spots i can't even see straight can you turn the flash off or is it too late to do that okay it should be off now oh thank god i really can't see right so tell me how this looks because i all i see is flashing lights in my eyes so you can go we're gonna go even let's keep going oh, you can really see the lines that yeah so you you're drawing through. i know i knew you were so just Keep it nice, consistent. I'm gonna actually go to where it's really nasty. You guys see that? Because I actually have to clean this up because I wanna use it eventually. I've had this for already a few years, right, Yara? And I haven't even used it yet. Yeah. Can you call Vaughn to read the comments? Vonique! Vaughn! Can you come and read some comments for us? See, it pays to have some kids around the house. They're all here, pretty much. They're all quarantined, all in their little rooms. So do you guys see how it's a little bit more pitted in this area? So I'm just barely, I'm not even breaking a sweat, just gliding over. And I just want to clean it all up. Excuse me, we are on live TV. Can you turn the water off? Okay, so read what people are asking me. I want to I want to hear what you guys are saying. Talk to me, people. Okay, so I'm actually going to clean up this whole area as much as I can. Oh, that's a pit. So like right here, I'm going to stop for a second. Last, did you say something had been melted on the griddle? Yes, so something did melt on the griddle, you guys. And I was going to show you guys how to remove it but it came off really quick when I did a test. <laughs> it was right back here. It had melted, here, show show the melted thing right there, Vaughn. Mm -hmm. Show the oh. melted. So yeah, it was right here, you guys. So this is what had melted. This actually oh, is oh, my oh. little lid cover and it actually um, someone had placed it right here and it melted right on there. And so when I did a test to remove it with one of my scotch bites, the whole thing just popped off. So, that kind of like killed my video so but it's really quick to get melted plastic off <laughs> just so you know look what happened so yes but we're not doing that we're gonna clean my griddle right now so let's keep going what are you using Ani? so i'm using right now i am using the the scrubby in the fine grade do you guys see that Okay, so I the video will post the links. To yeah, the and I'll and I'll tell you everything. But Yvonne, you can comment to them and tell them if they don't hear it or whatever. But we'll comment your answer. <laughs> I'll make my son do it. So that's the fine. That's the fine. Now look, I want to kind of test and see what the medium is going to do on these heavy areas. I, it doesn't feel pitted, which is kind of nice. This one feels pitted. 
Look, y'all, you can even hear my nail catch it. It's like a pit. But this is smooth. I don't know. Is this okay to remove, Yarl? If it's smooth? Let's just do a quick little touch. So this... Oh, wow. Look at that. Look, I'll just do this one section. So what's nice is it's very gradual, so you're not going to create any kind of gouges in the metal which i like because it's not what i want to do i gotta keep this nice and even but do you guys see how already the medium has is working better yeah I'll zoom in over here do you guys see how the medium is working a little better in this area and it cleaned up some of the black so i'll touch up the medium and this area just a little bit kind of just keep it in circular motions, keep it moving. Don't wanna get any kind of, you know, little divots or anything. Just keep it moving. That's Mingo. So. That's fine. Yeah, so you can't feel any kind of like pitting or, or like any kind of unevenness so it's nice and even which is good and you can change the little rub pattern too so let's go in this direction i always say to do that don't i so there you go so my objective is to get a lot of the corroded areas out and i think i'm being able to do that no problem and it cleans it up really nice And I want to show you guys something really quick. Can I show you guys something? Look, if you guys do not have a flex shaft and you want to do something really quick and you just have your jewel tool machine, I really want you guys to know that it is possible to do this without a flex shaft. Look, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take the flex shaft off. Stay right here, flex shaft. You see? And I'm going to pop the jewel tool off of its base. So I'm going to incorporate the handle, put the scrubby on the jewel tool, and turn it on. So from here, you can work like this too. And kind of work the areas out. Any comments on YouTube? Any comments on YouTube, Vaughn? You guys see how that works? What's the question? How will, will you clean it after you're done? How will you clean it after you're done? What do you mean, how am I going to clean it? The Just question it. came in. Yeah, actually, look, uh, after I'm done, I'm not done yet, but I'm going to use a brush to kind of smooth it all. But I just want you guys to see, it's this dirty. is what I have already. This is what we've got. So I would suggest using like a little rag to wipe it down. But yeah, look at that. That's crazy, huh? So maybe in the middle of the process, you should wipe it. Hold on. And I have a, I'm in the kitchen. I have something to wipe it. Yeah. So basically, if I do this, a lot of that stuff comes off. But I want to show you guys something else. Like, So let's say that you want to put the brush as well on it. You can use it on directly on your jewel tool. So like, let's say I want to get into that hard to reach area. Look, y'all show that corner. You can actually just work like this and clean that area up. And just kind of keep it flexing so you get it all nice and even. Yeah, I'll do a before and after. Wow, really wow. Kind of get in there. That was really corroded, huh? You see how nice it gets into the really hard to reach area? I can actually get more. I'm just hitting these plates. But do you guys see that? Hold on. You want to take those off? It's okay. Look at that black that just came off. Ugh. Look at that. So you see how the brushes are great at getting into that nook and cranny. I can work that a little bit more too. Actually, I'm actually going to remove one of the one of these. 
so I can get closer because it's hindering. And I, or I could use a flex shaft. Hold on, guys. Oh, God, these are so heavy. They're not cast iron. They are cast iron? Okay, so I'm going to actually go back and do that. So, yeah, now I can get a little closer. There you go. You see how beautiful that gets into all those little crevices, Yarrow? That is good. Oh, I'm loving this. You see that, Yarrow? Show how uh -huh. clean that is. That's awesome. That's awesome. So we started off with that or this before. I showed this before. So right there, and we were able to clean that up. That's really nice. Oh, look at that. Okay, so then I would take the jewel tool and kind of blend it everywhere. Kind of clean it all up like this. It just depends on how much you want to clean it. I'm a little paranoid about making sure this is too perfect. Yarrow. Mm -hmm. I don't know about how much I can do this but on a on a on a what's it called? On a on one of these stoves. So I'm gonna err on the side of caution, you guys. Let me show you guys this. But do you see how the brush kind of smooths it all together once you did like the scrubby? Does that make sense? Look. So all these little pits, they're not pits actually. I don't know what they are, but they're super smooth, Yarrow. I don't know, should I go further? I know I can take them out, but I'm just afraid it's not a... Ch it's pretty clean. I mean, right now you're using just surface conditioning. You're not really grinding or anything. No. Should I go more? No, I think it's fine. Should I, I can do more. The the So the medium was really great at cleaning this up, you guys. Let me show you guys again. I'll put the flex shaft back on. But just to give you guys an idea, I just wanted to show you guys both. So if you have... So look, if you really want to get them out, because I'm really picky, and if I really want to get them out, you just hold it there a little bit more and just glide over. You guys see that, how it's even more? Can you see it, Yara? Mm -hmm. You just want to make sure you're like moving all the time. You don't want to create any kind of pit or anything like that. So if you want to get into certain areas, just concentrate on a little area, but move it, you know, so you don't have like a groove. Just concentrate on an area and just kind of blend it with the rest of it. Oh, I keep hitting that other side. I should have taken that other one off. It's okay, Bon, don't worry. Thank you. So all these small little ones, look, just hold them there and look at how it'll gently, I don't want to use anything more aggressive than this. I could, but I don't want to. This is my own griddle. So I think we're good at that. Don't you think, Yaro? Hmm? Let's see, did I remove more? Did I remove more? Sorry. Yeah, so just see how it takes off a little. So there's not that much corrosion like there was back there. Wow, look at back there, Yaro, compared to it now. Jeez. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I like this. Yaro, feel it. I just want you to feel it because it's your stove too. Do you see? Super smooth, yeah. Yeah, it's super smooth. So should I keep... I, I shouldn't grind more than this, should I? Uh, well, I what do you think, Vaughn? Yeah. See, like, but right here, look. Look at how you can do this. Just so you know, look at the power. And then let's say you wanted to just use the the brush. This is the 80 grit. Let me show you that. See, it's a little less aggressive. It's aggressive, but you gotta hold it there. But it's nice because it'll get into like wider areas. Do you guys see that? You see how it's like more like an airbrush look, mm -hmm. right? So I'll just bring it all together here. I'm going to put the flex shaft on in just a second. 
I forgot about the flex staff. <laughs> I really did. I got caught up on making on cleaning up the stove. You know what? I might not use the stove all the time, but I'll show you how to clean it. How about that? It's fine as steel, but how thick is it? I'm gonna actually go in here one more time, you guys. Lori says to keep going. Oh, but let me show you the flex shaft. Hold on, let me get out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna put the flex shaft back on here. Hold on. You put the flex shaft back on and kind of bring this all together. So I'll go ahead and sit you on your side. Hold on, don't move. There you go, sit there. Be good, Joel Tall. And so I'll put the, so just to show you real quick, remember I showed you, this was not about, oh, Ani's cleaning her griddle. Okay, so that was the 80 grit, you saw that. Let me show you what the 120 grit does. Because sometimes like if you're a little scaredy cat like me, you might not want to use an 80 grit. So let me show you the difference. So let's go ahead, you a show in this area. You see how it's a little softer? I can? Oh. Okay, I can go, I guess I can go more aggressive on it. Everyone's telling me I can go more aggressive. You sure? Okay, I can do it. I'm just scared. Okay, so this is what the one the 120. Yara, can you show the 120 what it does? So So it's a little softer than this. Okay, so everyone keeps saying I can go more aggressive on it. Okay, my son keeps saying, yeah, do it. Okay, listen, let me change my thing. So I had the 120. The objective here, you guys, I'll go heavier, but I want to show you guys what they do what everything does okay so that was the 120 grit you guys that was a 120 grit see how the 120 grit is, is also aggressive i'm going to show you guys what the 220 grit does so i just i'm here to show you the difference like so what if i tried the 220 i don't know let's try it look so that was the 120 so let's see the 220 Again, it's just as a, a soft, but it's a softer finish. You guys see that? Look. You see that? Yeah, I'll zoom in. Can you show that? So it's also very clean. And it just also stands too. It just depends on how much you want removed. But I'll be honest with you. The one that was the most aggressive to get those really nasty pits out was the, um, the medium scrubby. So the medium scrubby got all this out. But so if I wanted to get more of that out, like everyone's saying, do it, do it, go more. You guys, I love you. Thank you for the support. So I would Anything put else? the medium scrubby on there, you guys, and go to town. Because this sucker seems like it can handle. Can so on we'll on? just clean this up a little bit more. So basically at this stage, I just kind of want to do the more detail of all the little pits there. What? Yes, do we have a dirty pan? This would be perfect for a dirty pan. I don't have dirty pans. Oh, we the bottom. I don't, yeah, give it. Who cares? Let's try. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to try my nice, my Curtis. <laughs> Pan. it is kind of like rough i've always wondered about that it's very rough this whole area oh that looks even nastier but hold on let me just do this first okay so let's see the difference yeah oh wow it cleans it up so nice Oh, wow, you guys, you guys have such good ideas. I just want to clean all of them. And then if you want to just do it, like let's say you just want to get into those nooks and crannies, you guys, just put like, hold on, they're under here. <laughs> <laughs> they're under here. Just put like the 80 grit or the 120 grit. I don't know, I'm scared. How do you clean the disc after? 
that's a good one. Let's do this. Hold on. So let's go ahead and get into all the nooks and crannies. You guys see how nice that is? And if you just have the 120 grit, you want to see how that cleans? That cleans also very nice. You guys see that? That's right. I'll show you how to clean your pants instead of cooking on them, guys. Yeah, that's awesome, you guys. You know, they feel very, oh, they feel so much smoother. They were feeling so rough. They feel so rough here, you guys. Look at that. Look. But I'm, but I'm telling you, like some of that really rough corners right there are softer but they really got softer on this side when I used the scrubby. Here, let's look at what the meat, uh, the fine scrubby does. So go ahead. So let's do this. Oh, that's it's a little nicer, the fine scrubby, you guys, because it conforms a little. So it's really smooth. You see that? It's very nice. So they all work. It just depends on how much more you need. Okay, so. I was asked a question. I can just keep going, you guys. This is like my this is my kind of house cleaning. La, 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 la. Who wants to scrub and clean? Look at this, so effortless. So easy. Look at that, you guys. I don't know. Can I do this surface? What if I do the face? Now I'm getting excited. Now I'm getting courageous. Whoa! Uh -oh. Stop me now, guys. Stop me now. I'm like, let's do the whole thing. Let's try it. Yeah, come. Well, why not? Oh yeah, it's getting like black and stuff in the holes. Look, it's even getting in the holes. You guys see that? Sorry, I know the joke was vibrating. Sorry, because I have it on a stove top. Do you guys see how it got in the holes? Look, before, after. Yeah, I'll show the before. This is before. And the, the left is after. Thank you. There you go. Isn't that cool? I'll just leave that for a before and after picture. Okay, there you go. Let's do half of it. Oh, but I already did it. Here, let me do the other half. Okay, there. It's like the pull away. See the little triangle? You can see where I stopped. How cool is that? Okay, you guys, so you can clean your pots and pans, you can clean the surface, but I got a question on how to clean these after. Yeah. These are gonna be interesting because I'll tell you how to clean the scot uh, the brushes. It's the same way I tell you guys to clean it um, after you polish your jewelry. So I'll show you guys those, but this one is going to have to, you can't really use water on this, so I'm gonna ask you guys to use some sandpaper to sand them off. To clean it off because do you guys see it's a little black and dirty so you kind of just want to sand that off because it's not completely embedded in it it was just like the outside uh, layer so to clean that hold on so just real quick you guys I'm gonna do this hold on so quick second well yeah, if they want to actually condition the metal, then it obviously is so a good idea show to, you clean really the pan, to clean that pan, to wash the pan first, right? Well, yeah, you're going to have to clean your pan right now after, yes. But, so, like, if you want to clean your... Hold on. Wait, I'm just going to grab... Like, what? Yes, it's so funny. No, I can't... I don't want to put water on my scrubby. So, look. So, I took... A dish towel that's all I had but I would honestly use look at this use I would use like a washcloth that I don't care about so I, again you guys I'm gonna hold the rest of this and I'm gonna use my finger but you can use anything else so I'm gonna run this Wait, what happened oh it's unplugged hold on funny if you turn it off there you go so I'm gonna run this at slow speed and I'm gonna clean it You see how I kind of get in there? And so I'm cleaning it off. I wish there was a white towel to show you, but I don't have a white towel. Bonnie, go get me a white washcloth. Can you go get me a white washcloth? That would be a better demo because I really want you guys. Is there? 
Okay, so you guys, let me show you guys how to do that. What else questions do you have? But I'm gonna finish cleaning that up real quick. I'm gonna use a brush to kind of do it all. But do you see what I mean? It's like so smooth, Yara. I'm so happy we can actually use it. I'm gonna actually do it a little bit more, but just for, and don't forget, you can, you can even use your larger four inch wheels as well. You could just find, no, don't you, look what he brings me. Give it to me, I'm gonna show everybody. He brings my nice microfiber new 3M cloth. Like really, do not use this good expensive so stuff. Here, go in this, my closet. Go in the uh, the linen closet and get me a white washcloth. White washcloth. Guys, okay. So I did the pan. Thank you, Yarrow. It's funny. Can't even get a white washcloth. Hold on. So I'm just gonna put some water on it. Okay, any day now. Okay, and Yara, you're so thin. This is important stuff, Yara, I'm showing. So again, I wet it. You guys can see I wet it. So put your finger right there and just run it at slow speed. I had cleaned it quite a bit, but you're gonna still see, you see how it's black? So I had cleaned it quite a bit. So we actually accomplished a lot. So let's actually put the other one that, that we didn't clean. Ugh, you can see it's all dirty. Because you don't want to do this and then run, you know, your jewelry on it. So again, just hold it tight. Make sure nothing is uh, dangling. But you can see already the black. Just keep it moving. Oh, Dolly. Oh, yes. That's my dove in the background cooing. You guys see that? That's gross. Flip it around. That's why I said don't use a good all. Oh, so much for my dish towel. But as you can see, as you're gonna do it, it's gonna get finer and finer. But geez, this is gross. Okay, so that's that. Okay, you guys got the idea, right? Clean, clean. Actually, it's even, it's very nice. And actually, here's another tip to dry it if you don't wanna, if you're gonna run it again. Just run it where it's dry to kind of dry off in between the fibers. So. If you're gonna run it again, you don't want to run it when it's wet. Any other questions? Any other questions? So you guys, I hope this has helped. If you guys have any other questions, just shoot them down. But I will continue to use the medium scrubby to clean up the more like I don't know. I I honestly think it's so smooth, right? Ooh, that's not good. Here, let's wipe this. I honestly feel as though it's so, sm oh my heavens, <gasps> Yarrow, it's not good. Well, that's all the stuff I've taken off right now, you guys. That was wiped clean before I started the show, heavens. So make sure you clean it <laughs> before you cook anything, I mean, uh, uh, after. Make sure you definitely wipe it down before you put some eggs on this bad boy. See, wow, I still have to clean it really good. Next time with soap and water. So from here, you guys, I will continue to do this and just keep going to town. Just so you know. I would, I'll do this after and I'll show you guys the after. But look, I really guys want you guys to see. You see how that one area is really pitted? I got that area clean. Do you guys see it, Yara? Right there. You see that? So if you have certain areas, after taking the initial grime and junk off, concentrate on certain little areas. Just keep it moving. And then use like the brush to kind of bring it all together to make it look good. But for the most part, this is great now for doing some detailed work. Look, do you see that? Put this like this. I know this is going to become a little boring, you guys, but I just want you guys to know it'll happen nicely, really smooth. It'll get rid of everything. Oh, I wanted to show you guys the fine scratch hold on where is it the fine scratch eraser the new ones that we have i want to show you guys how those work 
So if you have a small little area that you really want to smooth or clean up, yeah, you see how that's even better than, okay, so I kind of work this area more than that. So do you see a difference, Yarrow? This is like go overhead so you can see how dull it is. Yeah, so I did, haven't done this yet. So like if I do a little section, now that it's cleaner, you can kind of see more. So look, I'll just concentrate on this one area. Look, look at how it, it does definitely get so much more cleaner. Look, you see that, Yarrow? Can you see it? Okay, good. I don't know if the camera is picking up. And we don't have the same lighting we have at, in the kitchen that we do at the shop. So that's the case. So I want to show you the little scratch erasers, you guys. So look, again, with this, I would use some sandpaper. I don't have any sandpaper here, you guys. I didn't bring any. But I would run it at slow and kind of sand that black off. Okay, so now I'm going to put the new Scotch Bright um, uh, scratch eraser on here, and this is a fine. So if you want to do some just light work on the pitted areas, this is really good for any kind of pitting. Like if you had a pitted area, this is really good to work out like a pitted area. So like there were some that were pitted, like right here, there's like a little pitting here. You guys see that right here, that little black? That's like a pit, I could feel it. So I just wanna kinda of blend the metal instead of sanding it all away. And look at how this will like work that pit without creating a flat spot. Oh yeah, you see how it's working that pit? How it made it smaller, Yarrow, do you see it? So these definitely have really nice advantages, you guys. But again, you wanna kinda of keep the outside area moving in you don't want to just concentrate on the pit you want to bring the outside metal and to kind of blend it and there you go the pit is almost gone and that was a pit yarrow but what's nice is it's removing the pit without creating a flat spot because I don't want a flat spot yarrow doesn't want a flat spot on this griddle do you no, no. So look, there's still a little bit of a pit. I can hold it there a little bit more. But just to show you guys, look at how small that pit got. And you you can't even feel it anymore. Really. I might not even use this anymore. I probably just use the Scotch Bright uh, another brush to clean it up. But for the most part, look at how it took that pit off. Yara, look. I'm like in shock right now. There was like a pit that I could feel with my nail. And look at how smooth it is. Watch, I'll put something on here so you guys can see how I didn't create any kind of flat spot. Hold on, give me one second. Oh, where's my little, oh, here it is. <laughs> there you go. Comments, one question. Any more comments, you guys? You're awfully quiet. I know. <laughs> well, how about people saying hi? Oh, Any kitchen names? knife, I'll take that to the shop. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I mean. People are saying they know, uh, clean their pants tonight instead of washing TV. Yeah, the pans are pretty cool, huh? Find another one, Vaughn. I want to do another pan. But do you see how clean, how nice that got? Let's see what the 80 grit does on the pan. Do you see? Okay, so look. That was the pit, you guys. Yara, please show how there's no indentation on the metal. That was the pit that I was doing. But more importantly, that the pit is gone, there's no dippage. Did I just make up a word? Yes. There's no dipping action. You know, because I want to keep this surface obviously nice and flat. Look at that gross stuff. Okay, give me another pan one. What do you got? I'm excited. Let's get, oh heavens, what the fudge? Look at this pan. This is beautiful. I'm almost embarrassed, you guys. This is a, we don't even use this one that much. No, this one, you you got a shiner here, man. So, you guys, again, I'm going to use... You you can use whatever you have. Like, if you, if you find, like, the 80 grit is enough, look at how it's, like, kicking off crap. So, just find a nice, sturdy surface. So, the 80 grit... Wow, this is some nasty stuff. So if you have some stubborn stuff, don't forget, you can always move to the medium scrubby. 
or the fine because I think this is pushing it I really think the 80 grit is working yes but I think the fine scrubby will do a lot of good job for this like beat scrubbing with your hand so look hold on I'll turn this right here look look at that right there you guys see that oh it's nasty look at how quick this is going to take it off hold on oh my god look at that oh hello look how clean that is i feel like i'm on a like a shopping channel you guys see with this you can clean your pots and pans and look huh within a second and then you see the guy he'll take a cloth and he'll wipe it rub it wub it he'll wub it and you'll be like look at that with this product you can clean all your pots and I swear, I feel like I'm on a cooking channel. But seriously, you guys, look at that. That is no joke. Like, from that to this, because that, no matter how much we've done in the dishwasher, you guys, I shouldn't do this with my left hand, but we put the, all our stuff in the dishwasher, especially with the Corona. We're, like, making sure everything is... So, here, let's see what this does here. So, look, if I wanted to make this a little bit more conformable I actually can turn the speed down and it gets into the little holes oh my god this also got into the holes look at that you guys I know he's so loud look at that oh my god are you guys seeing this so the fine scrubby I ran it a little slower so it got a little bit more spongier so it would conform into the little curves and it was able to get into the little circles see versus here isn't that nice wow who knew my my curtis stone pots were so nasty so you guys i hope you guys this was fun watching my little home edition of things and if you guys think of anything else you want to see at the home at the home and in the house things that you have I would love to do another one like this. It's really fun. I'm trying to look now while I'm talking to you. Like, what do we have around here? I can't think of anything. But, oh, so do you guys even see back here? I'll even use like a brush to clean those up, right, Yarl? Yeah, should I show you? Okay, I'll show you. While I'm here, so I don't know the finish of this. So I'm going to err on the side of caution and maybe use a 400 grit or a. 220 so let's try just like you guys know i always try the finer so let's try the 400 grit to start because i gotta almost i almost have to match that finish it's like a rolex watch we're gonna match the finish okay hold on what am i doing i'm turning on the oven instead of the jewel pull. wonderful okay so let's see right here oh wow oh it's pretty yarrow Look, I'll just kind of conform it in this one area. Oh yeah, I love the 400. You guys want to see that? Look, I'll even do more. Hold on. I'm just doing one little strip. I'm not doing the whole thing. Should I do more? Or well, maybe I should do the 220. Okay, so that's the 400. You guys see it? Okay, I just did it like right here. You see it's a little shinier, but some areas where not it's not getting. So we are gonna go up the ladder and use the 220. I'm sorry, Yarrow. I know guys would go straight for the 80 grit. I'm not that person. I'd rather just test it and say, okay, you know what? Let me go a little hard, uh, coarser because you don't want to destroy it. So, ladies. See how the 220 grit? I'm just going to keep going. Because it's pretty, huh? You guys want to see that? Oh, wow. There's still some little pits. I might use the scotch bite to get those out. I can tell this is making Yara really happy, you guys. Thank you. 
And you guys, look. Here, watch this. Okay, so you see how this is more fluffy and fluffy? So you might want to use like the 222 inch version because it's going to be a little stiffer to combat like an area like this right here you see how i have a little stubborn spot right there so like let's say i want to get rid of that little one you see how the uh the two inch is going to be way more aggressive and i'll get rid of it you see that so this is what i always talk about how the two inch brushes are so much more stiffer and you can get into really nice details. So, what's that? It. Linda. Hi, Linda. Thank you on Instagram for the love. I appreciate it. So, if you guys liked it, please show me some love. Give me some hearts. Oh wow. Yes, use this on your barbecue. Absolutely, we use it. But I never thought of using it on my stove. So let's go ahead and show you the difference. Wow. So this is the side I did. And this, oh, I can even feel it's yucky. Ugh. See that? Mm -hmm. Pretty nice, huh? You guys see that was before and this is after. So I did use this. The two inch really was the uh, winner here on this. The two inch tw 220 grit. I mean, you can even use the two inch. 120 grit that was standing on standby but i try not to use the more aggressive one if i don't need it so you guys and let's see what this does here on the actual area i didn't even think of that let's see hold on just to kind of give you an idea what the how the two inch work it's see how it's much more aggressive you guys see that two inches are so much more they're much more, I would say, concise. Is that the word, Yara, you would say? Hmm? Like, because I can pinpoint it because they're a little bit stiffer and they don't spray around everywhere. Just to give you an idea. Let's see what the 80 grit does. A little bit more precise. Precise, precise. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to go for the gusto. It's because I'm not scared anymore on this. So let's try the 80 grit version. So right here. Let's look right there. Right there, you guys see that? Very nice. You guys see that? Very nice. So, you see how when I say sometimes you never know when you need the two, the two inch grade? And remember, these are the 3M ones. They're not, no knockoffs. These are original 3M. I want to say original 3M parts. See, but this is a pitted area. So for the pitted area, I would use this just like I used on the pitted area. Yeah, I'll move down. So just like I used on the pitted area here, that used to be the pit, remember? Now I can blend it with the two inch and you won't even see it anymore. Look at that. Look at that, that was where the pit was. Yeah, so when I really, so when I say that these, that these wheels do an excellent job, watch out, Jolie's right behind you. As moving, you buddy, can you turn the water off? I'm only on live, I uh, think, God. This is as live as it gets. You can see me yelling at my son. So like when I say that these really move the metal, I, they really do, but let me remind you guys, to clean these, do not, just like I said on my uh, er, my daily show on the regular Scotch-Brite wheels with the see-through, you cannot clean these with sandpaper. If you clean these with sandpaper, it'll change the, um, the grade of, I swear this kid, um, it'll change the grade of your Scotch-Brite. So I repeat, the only way to clean this is like on a file, like run it, and then run it on a file to clean it. Do not use sandpaper to clean. I repeat, do not use sandpaper to clean your sketch erasers. Just checking. You can use sandpaper to clean your scrubbies. Sandpaper, okay. But with this, 
not okay. Please, you'll change the complete uh, chemistry of it. So, all right, they're telling me to move on. So that, that concludes my home edition, you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I'll just be cleaning my stove here. Actually, yeah, it looks pretty nice. nice later, oh, wow, yeah. So Yarrow just says, uh, if you heard him, he says, uh, yeah, you're gonna finish later. Uh, yeah, I'll finish this and I'll post the after picture, but you get what I mean. Now that I know I can go a little bit more aggressive and nothing will happen, I feel more confident to go full on, full speed ahead, and I will. And I'll show you guys the after picture when it's over, I'll post it. But you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm glad we did the pots and pans, boys and girls. So just call me the pots and pan kind of lady. Nicole says now you need to do uh, home and garden shows. Nicole, I love it. I'm gonna do the home and garden show. I know, I need to get like a, like a, what do you call it? I don't wanna say a scissor, I know that's the wrong word. But what's the cutter that they, um, what's, what's the cutter that they use to cut, like, the... They're all commenting. Hi, Myra. Hi, Janice. So, you guys, did you guys like it? You guys saying thank you. I appreciate it. Well, I have to say thank you to everyone. My son is like, they're just saying thanks. Well, I want to say, you guys, thank you for watching. And, um, those cutters, what do you call them, Yara? The, the shears, shears? The, the garden, garden shears. shears. I need and to find a pair of garden shears and show you guys how to clean them, sharpen them, all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go around Yara's we'll garage and I'm going to clean up like shovels and stuff like that because I know you really edge can shears, do it. Clippers. Yeah, clippers and edge, edge, edge. Shear, edge shears. Hedge. Hedge shears. Those are those, these things? Yeah. Yeah. Those things, I can show you guys how to sharpen and clean up because I know after a while they get kind of yucky too like that but yeah so stay tuned for Ani's home and garden show <laughs> so you guys have a wonderful Sunday stay happy and safe man you guys have a blessed day from my home to yours Mwah.